We don't anything, but we'll take a look. I guess they should have changed the sign. Marketplace Expo. Found this though, VF3. Quite a lot of sizes. Hi guys! Back to yet another weekend and it's the weekend again so fast. So finally after two weeks, okay we are here at Expo area by the way. So finally after two weeks of super heat wave in Southeast Asia, this morning it finally poured heavy heavy downpour. So I was like 4km into my run when I reached ECP and the sky is open and it rained like non-stop for the next five hours. So today's weather is finally a bit cooler. So we are headed to Expo Marketplace. Okay, so in case you guys don't know, right, Expo Marketplace used to be um, timber. Yeah, timber at Eastside. Wow, Expo quite crowded today. Like got some food fair going on. Wow, I think some food fair. Yeah, Malaysia. Travel Malaysia fair. Okay. Okay, but anyway, we are headed over to Expo Marketplace. It's basically just outside the Expo um, the Expo Convention area so it still looks like the old timber timber east side which is like the building over there in the distance yeah so I, I, I think there should be some new shops inside new stalls so we're going to check it out and apparently they also have live music performance which is like similar to Tim what timber had lah. so anyway we're going to have dinner first then we'll go walk around around maybe Changi City Point later see anything to buy so this is the building, which is the Expo Marketplace. They actually have quite a lot of seats inside. So okay, I'm not sure whether they renovated or anything, but we'll take a look. I guess they should have changed the sign. Marketplace Expo. Yeah, now it's called No More Timber. Now it's called Marketplace Expo. Hey, but I think the stores are the same way. The white white, the white white chicken. <laughs> But it definitely looks more crowded, okay? There should be some new stores as well. Probably like half of the stalls are same. Because like Kopi Palace is the same store. Then there's another old school local coffee which is new. This one is also the same. Ooh, what shall I have today? Live band is 7.30 to 10.30 okay, Quite a lot of people over here like 5 plus Everybody's like eating already Just soaking up the overall vibe over here at the Marketplace at Expo Oh, it's Lindong Street happening And frankly I think it's actually more crowded than it was previously lah. So maybe that's Really like full swing of stalls now. So we ordered stuff from this uh, burger, the butcher bar. Burger uh, is it? Okay, better check your name. I see. Okay, it's called um, butcher the burger bar. <laughs> so other two items like the um, uh, tonkatsu rice bowl and also the truffle burger. So let's see how it tastes. In the meantime, she's going to get drinks. So having a Thai milk tea. But there's really quite a lot of stalls here, so probably we'll also come back and then we try other stuff. But today, that's only all that we can manage. Yeah, I'll just not try one stuff first. There's actually a rare big bar here that you can get drinks, like beer and stuff. So food's not ready yet, so they started to like walk one round to check out what stalls are there. And there's really quite a lot of stalls, there's like Western food, Yang Tou food. There's even a fruit and juice stall. And there's other stuff like gold pizza. Hainanese boneless chicken rice, so quite a lot of seeds available. But I guess if you come later, maybe like 7 plus when the live band starts on weekends, then it will be more crowded. So if you're here at 5 plus, 6 plus, there should be enough seats for you. So I think the bar is pretty interesting, like such a huge one. You can have like drinks at the bar counter. So pretty cool place overall. Quite a nice chill out vibe. Wanna dig into the food? So this is the chicken tonkatsu rice bowl and also the burger. So basically the rice is hidden 
under the egg lots of rice with a nice omelette and the chicken tonkatsu they have a chicken and pork tonkatsu and it's like it looks very very crispy with mayo on top mm. very tasty mm. the, chi the chicken tonkatsu is very crispy So it goes very well with this, I mean the rice and egg. So not so jelak. But the chicken tomato I think is nice. The skin is very very well fried. You can just feel the crunch. Mm. So we're basically sharing two items. So just letting Chi Beng try the, the rice first. But you can see that it's already like filling up. Most of the tables are already taken and it's about 6pm now. I really like this bed. <laughs> Just check out the omelette covering the rice. Fluffy omelette. So I got the truffle burger. You can see that. Ooh, oh my god. It's like truffle sauce with the beef cheese. Lots of truffle sauce. Just check out. You can smell the truffle. Yeah, I think I can smell the truffle. Oh, I didn't got out some of the fries, like a truffle fries now. <laughs> okay, I think it's very generous with the truffle sauce, so that's good because I love truffle. Just check out how generous the truffle amount of truffle sauce is. It's great. Mm. And you know how much is this set? It's only $13.90. $13.90 for the truffle burger with fries. I think it's a very good price. And for their rice bowls, right, basically they also range from about $6.90, $8.90 and $10 over dollars. So I think it's a very, very good good price store. So I realize most of the other stores are not very expensive as well. Seems to be cheaper than the stores that were previously at the Timber. Yeah. It's a good thing. Okay, so now it's like 6.30. You wouldn't believe the crowd that started to like fill up that marketplace at expo like around 6 so if you want to come for dinner i think it's best to actually come earlier like maybe around 5 plus 6 yeah so it's like now it's totally full you cannot get a seat so people are like standing around trying to get a seat but i think the thai food really looks very good i'm going to come back and try the thai food another day and this thai food right the villa 555 actually it used to be at this um near where are where are Changi prison. Okay, near the Changi yeah, prison okay. area. So, okay, Cosford Road or something like that. Yeah. So, apparently, there was a, yeah, quite popular as well, I remember. But I've never been there because it was a bit inaccessible unless you drive. Lah. So, definitely, this, they move here, right? It's definitely much more convenient. So, definitely gonna try. So, people trying the mukata. I'm very tempted. Maybe next week, Mother's Day, should convince my mum to come and try this Thai food. That's a great idea. Then maybe we can listen to a live band too. Hmm, I'm such a genius. Just do it. Let's head to my favorite store, Nike. Not that I think there'll be anything to buy. I'll just take a walk around. I wonder if the massage chairs are really that comfortable, like people are sleeping while doing the massage. Must be very tired. Any Nike goodies? Let's check it out. Nike is always one of the more crowded shops. <clears throat> okay, I think my voice sounds crap now because ate too much fried stuff. See how I like. No elite shoes. I found this though, VF3 Quite a lot of sizes So see if you can spot your size I always come make my round around my rounds around like Nike Whenever we come to Changi City Point But recently not many things to buy Cause the shoe that I like, my favourite shoe There's no more So you can hunt 30% off the entire wall By very good deal
Good afternoon, guys. So it's Sunday today, and we only had one miserable day of cool weather. Today's weather is back to the super super hot. Yeah, thirty three degrees right now. So we decided to go enjoy some free icon in the flower dome, cause it's the new tulips display. So we're gonna have a taste of pollen today. Oh, you can see how bright the sun is. So like walking in this heat is really killing. Oh, but today like Bangkok is like 39 degrees. So I really pity the Thai people now. Singapore 33, 34, really want that really. I can't imagine like 39 degrees. Anyway, gonna walk into the dome soon. Give me some aircon. There you go, Tulip Mania from 29 April to 26 of May. So let's go right into the dome. I think it's gonna be crowded because yeah, probably everybody has the same idea. Go get some free aircon. What's your favorite thing about the flower dome? <laughs> Louder. Aircon, that's right. See, Ryan is like the same height as me. Oh no. I think I'm getting shorter. Oh, Ryan is getting taller. Let's go into Holland. Yay. Ta da! Here we are in Amsterdam, wannabe land. <laughs> So if you know one key thing that Amsterdam has, right, it's like windmills. So windmills can be used for like renewable energy kind of electricity generation. Uh. So yep, that's one useful fact about windmills. Well, of course windmills are also very nice to look at. I see a very big one over there, down there. So we're gonna head down there. Why oh, it's super crowded, super, 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 super crowded. Yes, everyone really has the same idea of coming here to enjoy the cold air because it's very very nice and cold in here but we're just in the top you know i always have this suggestion that singapore should build a giant dome like the one at the flower dome right? because it's so hot every year is global warming and climate change so every year is really getting hotter and hotter and hotter so it's so nice if one day singapore like build a dome to like cover the whole singapore and they air condition it then yeah, maybe that's also like a path for aeroplanes to fly up. So like the bulk of Singapore will be like in the aircon all them. <laughs> they have to like have an opening for aircraft. Lah. So that's a good idea, right? Maybe one day, who knows? It may eventually happen. It's so crowded, there's like a queue to move down like the stretch of tulips because like all the pretty flowers are there and everybody is like not moving so first time that there's actually a queue in this place to like see so I guess tulips are very popular Oh but seriously no joke or maybe it's just too hot everybody want to come here and blow at them So as you can see, there are really a lot of tulips that's already in full bloom. Probably that's why there's so many people today. I like the windmill, okay, but I'm gonna get a better shot of it like outside because it's so crowded. <gasps> pink tulip, so pretty. I like the pink, it's nice. Anyway, I think all the tulips were very pretty, like there were so many. And they have like details on a lot of the Amsterdam sites and places like the Delft, the um, the porcelain thingy which when I went to Amsterdam I also did go do a day trip to the Delft so I did see that porcelain factory as well and there's also like Zen Shans that has the famous windmill in Amsterdam which we also went before so there it is the beautiful windmill it sounds in my eyes <laughs> okay anyway um let me show you guys the windmill properly
Okay, about done with the tulips. I think the tulips are really pretty and really worth checking out. But it's like too crowded today. So it's also very hard to like see, take photos and videos. But I guess everybody has the same idea. But no worries, it's on until like May. So we've got lots of time to come and check it out. It's on until um, 26th of May. Yeah, so lots of chance for you to come and check it out. And I guess the night view should also be pretty nice. Cause like... Yeah, it will provide a different view. Daytime is very sunny and like lots of yeah crowds. So maybe night will be less crowded and you can have more chances to take photos and videos of the beautiful tulips.